Okay, polycythemia vera or polycythemia in the media. This is um, just a short series of videos that I'm doing. And um, actually some of it has been, you know, just interesting and fun. Um, I think I've already referred to X-Files and Star Trek. And I think General Hospital and also Scorpion, so TV shows. And um, now there's one that, you know, is really sad, actually. And there are things that you, you would learn, um, I guess, in no other situation, unless you're into Hollywood or all of those things, right? But um, this one is um, Jeffrey Slonim. Now, technically, he died um, from suicide and jumped off a building. Um, but when you look at what led up to that, it's really sad. He did have polycythemia vera and he was utterly depressed. And I think this is something that should be addressed. And um, yes, he was in the media. Yes, there were, you know, things. I think it was. Um, Hollywood Reporters, one that I read that was wonderful. It was a great article about him. And people are like, why would he do that? Well, his body was kind of failing him. He's dealing with exhaustion, which I think many people can relate to. Confusion, not having your mind straight. My God, I can't tell you how many times a day I feel that, right? And just being exhausted, trying to take care of his family, I'm sure doctor bills, all of those other things, right? I can't, I can't say for sure on the doctor bills, but everything else, it was reported, right? And here he is, a man trying to deal with all of this, and he had so many things that people would, you know, normally say, oh, he's in the limelight, things are good for him, he's met all these famous stars, and things that people would normally say are so fantastic, but in reality, he was, you know, he's fighting the one thing, your health, the thing that truly in the end is what's going to matter, right? So um, he did end up committing suicide. And to me, this was shocking, eye-opening, um, familiar in a sense. I don't want to commit suicide, number one, I don't. Um, but understanding, feeling a loss, feeling stressed, feeling you wish you could do more for your family, for your loved ones, um, coming into a I guess a, a part of who am I now? Uh, what am I able to do? Um, I know that I don't work anymore. It, it would definitely affect me or others if I were to be back in my own profession. Um, and that is really, really rough. And um, man, my heart broke when I read about him. And that's the thing is, yes, it was out in the media. Maybe people you know, I think this is more than anything. I think people need to be aware of this. Maybe he could have had some help. And I mean, you can't always, um, when someone commits suicide, we can't always like wish, wish, wish. It's kind of natural. You wish you could have helped him and said, you know, there's an answer or this or that, but we don't, I, I can't judge. Right. Um, I just feel like with him it would have been nice had he been on, you know, maybe one of the fun Facebook groups. I know there's that MPN humor. It's great or support or felt he had someone to reach out to um, in that sense to understand um, what it is like. Now, one reason I'm doing the media is because um, this little short thing on the media is because um, it is important for you know people to be aware there should be some awareness. You know, we want some funding, we want support, we want an answer, a solution. I, I'm all about solutions, right? I like solutions everyone does anyhow um but on top of that you know giving people a voice i remember when i first was diagnosed i i, I just felt so alone right and um i didn't even know that facebook had groups and my one of my friends told me about it much later and i was scared to even go on and really i love these groups it's just it's it's nice and you know maybe i don't always totally relate with every single person i don't expect to and i don't want everyone to but maybe um, coming together as a community of trying to be healthy and happy and um, understanding. Anyhow, I read about him, um, Jeffrey Slonim. He seemed like he was really trying to hold it together. And I, my heart breaks for his family and friends. And I do hope he has found some peace now. Um, I hope that we can, I guess, as a 
like a blood sisters brothers uh, community um, you know have more information put out there for other people so we can feel like we can reach out we can feel understood and I, I hope there's more information and God forbid I hope there's a cure one day um, so anyhow this was someone who was in the media they did report it quite a few times actually and I will um, put some links below on um, you know about Jeffrey Slonim. I wouldn't have known about him otherwise and I think this is important just you know kind of get him out there um, so that was wonderful um, to read about someone it's also um, an eye-opener awakening moment something like that you know it, it kind of drives me to want to do more for people um, I know for me uh, one person that was so helpful um, this girl she did a video on YouTube and I think it's the first time I was able to relate to someone. Her father had passed away from uh, PB. And I loved the girl. I was so happy, not like that, but like happy that she was able to just talk like a person and tell me how she felt. It wasn't set up by anyone. It was just her talking. And, um, and just knowing that people can and, you know, do move on and also knowing a child of someone. So anyway, it was wonderful. I do hope that um, you can read a little bit more about Jeffrey Slonim. I hope that there's more information in the media. There's more research. I hope there's so much more. Anyhow, this is part of my media series. Um, I hope I have a few more lighthearted ones for you. Um, and please subscribe to my channel and like the video if you want to.